Hello Capricorn, welcome to another love reading. We're going to be looking at the current and recent past energies for you in love. What can you expect? Uh, who you might be dealing with? What do we need to know about them and the possible outcome? So let's jump right in and see what messages we have for you. Spirit, angels, guides, messages, guidance, please, for Capricorn regarding love. What does Capricorn need to know? What does Capricorn need to know, Spirit, regarding love? What do they need to know? What do they need to be aware of? Okay, let's start with the recent past energies. Spirit, what are the recent past energies for Capricorn in love? Recent past energies for Capricorn in love. Page of Wands. Okay, so I feel like something has begun. Someone has taken initiative. Someone has taken first steps towards something. Um, this could be somebody that just tells you that they're interested in you or vice versa, or maybe you catch someone's eye or um, they catch your eye. Um, this is like the beginning of something very interesting or exciting with the Page of Wands. They don't think about things too much. They kind of just want to put themselves out there, take the risks, take the initiative, right? Maybe you've been putting yourself out there in terms of dating or maybe you've been kind of taking a little bit more risks. Let's see. What else do we need to know about the recent past for Capricorn Spirit, for Capricorn? Wow, the Page of Pentacles. So yeah, something definitely is coming in or has come in in the recent past for you regarding love. Um, maybe you've gotten interest from people or from a specific person. Maybe someone has asked you out on a date. These two cards especially, like when I see them together, I think of being asked out on a date or uh, the initial steps in like a relationship. So you're dating, you're getting to know each other, but you haven't really like cemented anything. Um, but you're on the way there. I feel also like some of you have caught the eye of someone that wants to make you an offer. Okay, what are the current energies? Current energies for Capricorn in love spirit. What does Capricorn need to know? Current energies, please. Current energies for Capricorn. Okay, we have Judgment. I'm going to take this one too. And the Three of Pentacles. Okay, so together, well, Judgment, let's start with Judgment. This is a card about someone that has learned important lessons. And they're waking up to all of the lessons they've learned. Um, they're seeing things, you know, differently or having realizations about things. Um, this could also be a card about karma. Um reviving something resurrecting something right because these people are being resurrected um but the whole point of judgment is whether you revive something whether you have an awakening of something or you learn important lessons it's all to move you forward right like you're ready for the world right after judgment comes the world and you're ready to graduate because you've done all of the uh growing that you need to for this cycle so when I see with the Three of Pentacles, I think of someone that's working together to maybe revive something or putting an equal effort here um, to kind of arrive at an understanding to make, you know, this could also be that you're making a judgment call about how much effort to put into to something um, or vice versa. But I feel like when I see these two together, I specifically think of someone that wants to work on moving forward to that next step, right? You're putting an effort with someone else because this is a card about collaboration, the Three of Pentacles. Um, working with someone to have, you know, learn these lessons to move forward. I feel like some of you might just um, get a phone call as well. You get a phone call and someone wants to work on something with you or uh, put in effort or show you something. It's like they want to show you they're willing to put in work. I see that as well. 
So what are the challenges or obstacles? What are the challenges or issues here for Capricorn spirit? Challenges, please. Issues, obstacles for Capricorn. Challenges. Wow, the Ace of Cups. Emotions, abundance of emotions, emotional fulfillment, new love. Okay, let me get one more. I'm trying to figure out why with this. Sometimes when I see like a good card in a challenge spread or in a challenge position, I think that energy is being challenged or blocked. Okay, so let's see. What are the challenges or issues here for Capricorn Spirit? What are the challenges or issues for Capricorn? The King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Okay, the Magician is at the bottom of the deck. I don't... Okay, the only thing I could think of that could be a challenge here when I see all of these energies together is maybe something's moving too fast. Maybe you're not sure of how you feel. Uh, maybe someone is kind of being a bit forceful or a bit kind of like pushing you to make a decision or pushing you to kind of open up to them. Um, I think the issue here is, um, and this is just, I'm going straight by my, what I'm feeling, you know, the energy I'm picking up here. All of your stories are different Capricorn. And of course this reading will not resonate for every single Capricorn watching because I'm reading for the collective. All of your stories and situations are different. But um, if I, honestly tell you what energy I'm picking up here um, it's that you're not ready whatever is happening here if this is new love if this is an old love coming in if this is someone that wants to revive something or work on something or show you effort I don't think you're ready I don't think you're there yet or you can flip this for them and it, I could be picking up on their energy and they're not ready yet What's behind this magician? Because now I'm curious. Yeah, the Four of Pentacles. I feel like someone's holding back here. They're holding back, protecting themselves a little bit. Let's get some energy oracles so we can get some more insight on this energy. I'm going to be using the second edition of the Stellar Energy Oracle deck. This is the first kind of run that I'm using. I can already tell you the back design will be changing, so this deck won't look exactly like you're seeing it now. Um, and it's not available yet, I'm just playing around with it. All right, it, uh, energies for Capricorn. What are the energies here for Capricorn? Do we need to know about the overall energy here, Spirit? What do we need to know about the overall energy here? For Capricorn and love. Oh, I got two. Balancing act, juggling and decision balance. You're juggling multiple things at once. You'll be going back and forth about something. You're probably undecided about something. Um, have a lot going on. Unhealthy attachment, bonds, toxicity, codependency. Unhealthy attachments are causing difficulty. So I feel like that's the problem. Some of you could be dealing with someone who maybe there's something off, like, like something's not exactly healthy. Uh, this could be so many things. It could be that maybe you're dealing with someone with addiction. You're dealing with someone that could have some toxic habits or toxic behavior. Um, there could be some codependency. There could be um, issues of trust, right? Because maybe um, someone, something feels off. So your your energy, you know, it, it's almost like your uh, your heart or your intuition tries to protect you from anything that might not, you know, it's like some, it's like a red flag, right? And so you're kind of protecting yourself. But when I see balancing act with unhealthy attachment together, I think of someone that's undecided about something trying to find the balance because something's not healthy or completely um uh, why do i want to say kosher i don't know why i never say that word but it's like something's not completely right 
completely balanced in a connection or with a specific person. And this could also be that, you know, maybe you've gone through some difficulties in the past regarding love and it's not so easy for you to, sh you know, kind of shake off that, uh, that behavior from the past or the baggage from the past, right? You might be inadvertently bringing something to a connection that's not necessarily healthy or the, the other person is. For example, if, if you meet someone and you start a connection and they've always been cheated on, if they don't work through that, they'll bring a uh, lack of trust, trust issues to the relationship, right? Past hurts. All right, let's get an ever after Oracle. This is available on my shop. It's linked down below. Energies, please. Can we get some insight on the energies for Capricorn? regarding this individual, regarding love. Some of you, I'm also picking up with this Ace of Cups and King of Wands as the challenger issue. Maybe you feel like this is too good to be true and you're wondering like, what's the catch? I can see that as well. You know, maybe there's a lot of love, there's passion, but where's the stability, right? Okay, tell me more about the energies here between Capricorn and this other person, the energy surrounding Capricorn for love. Into the woods, fear, uncertainty, karmic path. Yeah, there's something here. Someone's unsure, uncertain, and I think it might be you. With balancing act, into the woods, you know, maybe there's a karmic situation here or, you know, judgment did show up. Trying to decide, you know, what's the catch? What's going on? What am I missing? Bottom of the deck is hero, bravery, strength, loyalty. I think this has to do with a specific person you're dealing with. Maybe there's something about them that you're questioning. Maybe they they just have too much. It's almost like maybe they're too good to be true. Maybe they appear a certain way, but you're questioning if that's really them. Something like that. Let me know if that's resonating in the comments. Maybe this could be somebody from the past and they're showing up as a hero and you're already questioning them because you're like, uh, I was with you. I know what's going on here. I don't know if I could trust this new you or who you're presenting to me, right? Let's see. Let's look at this other person. What's this other person's um, energies towards Capricorn? This person that Capricorn is thinking about or connecting with or will be connecting with in the future. What do we need to know about them, Spirit? What do we need to know about this individual? The Five of Wands. Drama, conflict, jealousy, competition. Maybe there's been some arguments, some interferences, influences that aren't the best. Tell me more about this person. Conflict. This could be conflict from the past as well. Tell me more about this person that um, Capricorn is, has, or will be dealing with spirit. The sun. Well, the sun's about happiness, good news, celebration, but it's also about clarity. The sun is nice and clear. It illuminates things. Good news as well with the sun. Three of cups is at the bottom of the deck. So right away, I'm thinking there might be an issue with different people family members, friends, co-workers, past, uh, past persons. Um, you know, when I see these two cards here, I think of like the clouds and the sun, right? When the clouds part, there's the sun. When there are no arguments or influences or distractions or drama, I feel like this person's very happy, go lucky, the connection's good. But I feel like this, this Five of Wands, um, it kind of ruins things. I don't know why I'm getting that energy, but I am. Let's clarify this, Sun. Spirit, tell me more about the Sun. Tell me more about the Sun. Why is the Sun here? The Empress! what the heck okay so i'm thinking that this is you or a parental figure but if this is you i think that you make this person very happy i think they're happy with you 
but I think outside factors are a problem here, Capricorn. I think there's something here that influences your person or that causes issues between them, you and them, right? I'm starting to pick up that maybe the connection between you is not entirely the issue. It's like other things that affect the connection or other people. This could also be that you're picking up on things about this person. Like maybe you are recognizing, you know, seeing someone very clearly. But this, since this is their energy towards you, I kind of think that they are very happy with you. The magician is here at the bottom of the deck and the four of pentacles shows up again. So this showed up with the challenges and issues cards. When I took these two cards out, the magician was at the bottom of the deck with the four of pentacles. So I think that this is tied to the challenger issue between you. There could be someone that interferes or that causes problems. Let's get a PS I love you for them. This deck is also available on Etsy right now if you want to check it out. Okay, what else do we need to know for Capricorn? What do we need to know about this person's energies? Lessons learned. Maybe this person's telling you that they've changed, they've learned their lessons, are willing to work things out, put in more effort, not be uh, influenced by other people. What else do we need to know about this person's energies towards Capricorn? The grass was not greener on the other side. Okay, so maybe they thought that they would do better elsewhere. Maybe they thought that the their friends or family or influences were, you know, the way to go like they should have listened to them and not you focused on them and not you etc i think they learned from something that happened outside of you or maybe after a separation or something like that they realized that hey that's not what it what i thought it would be that's not you know i'm not happy with the green grass that i thought was going to be over there Others of you, this is someone new. Um, they've learned from their past mistakes, but I feel like, for example, you met someone new, the connection was great, but then outside influences interrupted an otherwise good connection. And now you're spooked and they're telling you, you were right, I'm gonna take care of this. This won't be an issue for us anymore, but you're not so trusting, right? You're just not sure. What's the possible outcome here? What's the possible outcome here? Possible outcome, please, spirit. For Capricorn. What's the possible outcome, please? For Capricorn. Wow, we have the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, and then we have the Tower. Okay, the magician at the bottom of the deck shows up again. So this king of pentacles could be causing a tower. They could be doing something shocking or unexpected. Um, or there's something shocking or unexpected that happens with, you know, an individual that you're already involved in. Or this could also be you that causes a tower. Maybe you surprise someone else. But I, I have a feeling that this is them. Like, this is the person that you've been dealing with or are dealing with. And something shocking or unexpected is going to happen. What can you tell me about this tower? This could be a sudden, you know, separation, revel revelation. What can you tell me about the tower spirit? Why is the tower here? Wow, the lovers. Gemini energy. The Knight of Cups at the bottom. Of Sorry about that. My phone fell off the tripod. All right, so we'll do some editing magic, magic so you guys don't have to go through what I just went through. Okay, so the lovers came out and the Knight of Cups was at the bottom of the deck. So I'm thinking that someone could surprise you with a message or an apology. There could be um, some sort of separation in a partnership along with you know, a, a cup being delivered if there was a third party interference or something like that. 
So the, I'll leave it there. Capricorn, hopefully you enjoyed this reading. Don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Um, thank you so much for watching once again, and I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.